which is how I ended up with Kamala Harris's phone number. <laughs> now, for generations, people have debated when to call the person you're being set up with. And never in history has anyone suggested 8.30 a.m. <laughs> and yet, that's when I dialed. I got Kamala's voicemail, and I just started rambling. Hey, it's Doug. I'm on my way to an early meeting. Again, it's Doug. I remember I was trying to grab the words out of the air and just put them back in my mouth. And for what seemed like far too many minutes, I hung up. By the way, Kamala saved that voicemail. And she makes me listen to it on every anniversary. But that message wasn't the only unusual thing about that day. Now, Kamala, who normally would have been working hard at her office, uh, just happened to be waiting at her apartment for a contractor to do some work on her kitchen. I was eating at my desk, which was not a regular occurrence for a busy lawyer like me who appreciated a good business lunch. But that's when she called me back. And we talked for an hour, and we laughed. Well, you know that laugh. I love that laugh. <laughs> and maybe that counted as our first date. Or maybe it was that Saturday night when I picked her up and told her, buckle up, I'm a really bad driver. Because <laughs> you can't hide anything from Kamala Harris, so you might as well own it. And as I got to know her better and just fell in love fast, I learned what drives Kamala. And it's what you've seen over these past four years, and especially these past four weeks. She finds joy in pursuing justice. She stands up to bullies just like my parents taught me to. And she likes to see people do well but hates when they're treated unfairly. She believes this work requires a basic curiosity in just how people are doing. Her empathy is her strength. Over the past decade, Kamala has connected me more deeply to my faith, even though it's not the same as hers. She comes to synagogue with me for high holiday services, and I go to church with her for Easter. I get to enjoy her mom's chili relleno recipe every Christmas, and she makes a mean brisket for Passover. It, it brings me right back to my grandmother's apartment in Brooklyn, you know, the one with the plastic-covered couches. But Kamala has fought against anti-Semitism and all forms of hate her whole career. She's the one who encouraged me, a second gentleman, to take up that fight, which is so personal to me. And those of you who belong to blended families know that they can be a little complicated. But as soon as our kids started calling her Mamala, I knew we'd be okay. Ella, Ella calls us a three-headed parenting machine. <laughs> 